A popular Mexican restaurant has been charging its customers too much sales tax. A savvy customer caught it and the I-Team helped fix it. Our consumer investigator Randy Mack tonight with who's due a refund and how you can get it. This story starts with a $20 taco order from El Pollo Loco in Cyprus. David Ho noticed he'd paid too much in sales tax. Your sales tax is off. It's, it's off by a lot. The sales tax rate in Cyprus is 7.75%. David paid 9.25%. The difference for his order, 30 cents. Not a huge sum, but as David points out, it adds up. A few uh, pennies, nickels, quarters uh, here and there with other people, it adds up especially for people who might have a larger order. This isn't the first time David's computer like mine has caught a sales tax overcharge. He first reached out to the I-Team two years ago when he caught Avis charging too much tax at John Wayne Airport. It's just a side interest of mine to, to ensure that taxpayers do not get ripped off. So what happens when a business charges customers too much sales tax? It has two options, refund the customer or pay the overcharge it collected to the state. After the I-Team reached out to Avis in our previous story, the company told us the overcharge was a mistake and automatically issued credit card refunds to all overcharged customers. El Pollo Local in Cyprus also fixed the overcharge, telling us it was an isolated incident. It said the location was overcharging customers for the first three weeks of April, but didn't explain why. The company said impacted customers can go to the restaurant for a refund. As for David, his keen eye and quick mind continue to put pennies back into consumers' pockets. I see it as a public service that other consumers should know about. The Poya Local says if its customers don't claim the overcharge at that location, then they will go ahead and pay that money to the state as they are required to. In Chino Hills, I'm Randy Mack for NBC4 News.